Hey everybody, what's up? Tim with this week's SCE. Hope wherever you are, you are phenomenal. And thanks so much for watching. Title for today's shoot is Stop Obsessing on Outcomes. And if you're like me and you're type A, this post is completely for you. Or if there's something that you're believing for and working for and striving for, and you've got your crosshair set on an outcome, this post is probably for you as well. So I love going out and setting goals and achieving things and trying to continue to better myself and expand myself and do more and add more value. And just to be able to give more contribution and more service and to set huge goals and to strive for that vision that's down deep inside my soul that sets me on fire, that gets me up in the morning and just gives passion and purpose to my life. The problem is, is sometimes those results those outcomes move from a standpoint of being healthy to being obsessive. And when that happens, it takes us to a pretty uh, not so good place. So that happened to me recently. There's something that I'm believing for, working for, that I absolutely believe I'm supposed to do, and it's on my radar screen, and it has me excited. But I became overly fixated on the results. I became overly fixated on the outcome and it's all I thought about and it's all I gravitated toward and I put all my mental and emotional and spiritual energy into it and it turned me from typically being pretty much filled with joy and peace and contentment to a place where I was filled with anger and anxiety and stress because I wasn't getting what I wanted in the time that I thought it should come. That's not a great place to be. And if you've ever been there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We are not to be so focused on the results and the outcomes that it steals our peace, steals our joy, and takes us to that place of just stress and anger and frustration. And what I found is I had the outcome as a number one priority in my life. Everything else was below that. And it just absolutely robbed me of just enjoying the day and being happy and being able to be fully functional because I was so focused on getting what I wanted. And oftentimes when we get to that place, there's really a deep-seated fear there, a fear that we're not going to get what we want. So we try to force things. We try to make them happen. And the more we're trying to pursue things and chase them, the more we actually push them away because we're saying, I want this. I need this. I have to have this. And what we're really communicating to ourselves and the universe and everything through our energy, through our thoughts, through our spirit, through our emotions is that I don't have it. The more we say we need something, the more we say we want something, the more that we say that we don't have it. And the more that we communicate that we don't have it, the more that reinforces that we don't have it, and the more we find ourselves in that very, very position. So one of the first things we need to do is get off the scarcity mentality into an abundance mentality. And how do you do that? Well, you practice being happy. You make happiness and joy and being in high spirits and being okay with it but also being just okay without it as your top priority. So you take results from being your number one objective and move it down the ladder one or two rungs and making happiness your highest priority. Because when we're happy and when we're joyful and we're in high spirits, we become peaceful, we become relaxed. It's the highest form of energy that we can display. People are attracted to us. We're more magnetic to the things that we want. And typically they show up a lot quicker because we are in that happy, joyful state. Think about the times when you were in peak state, when everything was going well. Things just seem to work out and they come automatically with very little effort. But when you're out there and you're trying to force it, you're trying to make it to happen, it actually pushes you away from the things you want. Right now I'm out in the woods and if I see a rabbit and I chase it, what is it gonna do? It's gonna run. But if I sit here and am still and just absorbed in the moment, the rabbits actually come closer to me. And that's what we need to do. We need to let things come to us. We still need to go after them, but they can't be our number one priority. They can't be our number one focus. And we need to learn to enjoy the moment because if we don't, we lose the moments. And then all we do is move from one op or one opportunity to the next, from one outcome to the next. And we become so focused on what we're becoming, we lose who we are and we lose the essence of ourselves because it's more about who we become in the process and the objective. How many things have you and I accomplished that after we get them, after a while they lose their flavor and we're on to the next thing. And life is robbed from us because we're so focused on the destination, we forget about the journey along the way. So Make happiness and joy your biggest priority. The other thing I found that is super effective is when we're focused on outcomes and results, typically it's about us. I want this. I want to do that. I have to get that. And when you're in that position, you're a taker. You're not a giver. And you're pulling energy out of everything. And we need to flip that. We need to become givers. And the best thing we can do is help somebody else achieve their goals, help somebody else get what they want, especially if it's similar to what we want. Because we're sowing seeds in them. We're giving to them. But we're putting out that energy. And it cannot not come back to us. It has to come back to us. So when we take the focus off of us and put the focus on other people, not only do we benefit them, but we benefit ourselves. So if you're obsessed with outcomes 
there's something you feel you got to have, I would say watch that because that can easily slide over into an unhealthy obsession. And what we need to do to avoid that is we need to take the focus off of us and put it on to other people and just simply making being happy and joyful the top priority. Because when you do that, you set yourself up to receive. You set yourself up to get what you want, but it doesn't matter at the end of the day if you get it or not, because you're not defined by it, you are gonna define it. And that's the most powerful position to be in. And that opens the floodgates for things to flow to you freely and easily. And they not only are the things that you want, but things bigger and better than you could possibly imagine. So, once again, give to others. Make sure that's your priority. And make happiness your number one focus as opposed to the outcome. And if you do that, you will break yourself of the obsession of results. You'll position yourself not only to get what you want, but to get even more. And you'll amaze yourself with the potential that you have and what comes into your life. So Tim with today's SCE, hope you found this helpful. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon.